It seems like an over-exaggeration to say that it changed my life, however, it honestly did. Hello, hello, hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Right off the bat, like I've mentioned in my previous videos, I have to let you know that my baby has been a sidekick in my videos as of late. In the corner, you might hear him cooing. You might hear some sounds. He is in his bouncer today. And I am also trying to bounce him with this arm. So if you see that arm moving, that is why. Today's video is kind of a check-in because I have a little bit of a new lifestyle. I am a mom now. I am a stay-at-home mom in particular. And I'm also learning to navigate this new body and trying to find self-esteem in my newfound curves. My body has also changed rapidly over the past several months and might continue to change as I'm incorporating more exercise. For that reason, I wanted to emphasize a couple of ways in which my style has changed and some things that I'm going to focus on over the next couple of weeks. I really want to encourage you to follow me on Instagram, so I'm going to leave my handle down below and you can also see it on the screen in the corner. But I'm going to shop for an appropriate mirror finally to take outfit pictures and try to show you a couple of the things that I talk about in this video today. And as I mentioned about a minute ago, I think that these check-ins on how my feminine style has changed and how I'm tailoring it to my current lifestyle can perhaps become some sort of a series. If you're interested in more feminine style videos, I would also encourage you to hit the like button. In the comment section of one of my past videos, I did talk about how I wanted to establish more of a schedule, but for right now, as I'm figuring out the best day based on my statistics to post, I've decided that once I get 300 likes, likes on my most current video, that is when I will start filming the next video for all of you. So that being said, also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. A little bit of an important point, go through my femininity playlist if you want to see the previous style videos that I've made in the past because I do not take back any of that information. It's just that as women, as we go through different seasons of life, we might need to focus on various other clothing items. And although you might not be a mom, you might be somebody who has more of an active lifestyle or you're just looking for some ideas and you want to follow me along for inspiration. Without further ado, let's get right into the video before this baby starts crying. A couple weeks ago, somebody asked me in the comment section of one of my videos what I would recommend wearing while going through a difficult season of life. I talked about in my postpartum wardrobe how it was so important for me to incorporate sweats of different colors or loose pants or basically just comfy clothes in feminine colors. And that is exactly what I'm trying to do lately. There are certain days as a mom where I want to become more active. I'm trying to take my son on nature walks outside, for example. Although I am a person who gravitates towards dresses, there are just certain occasions where I need to wear pants. And for that reason, I go for matching sets. I'm going to put some examples of pictures in as I'm talking through this point, but comfy sets, whether they are stretchy material or a loose material, personally, I prefer to go more so over a loose material, but those kinds of things and going for a lighter color or something that is more colorful and conducive to your personal color season. That is a surefire way to feel put together when you have a hectic lifestyle or you are somebody who is going through a hard time. Next up, speaking of pants, I talked about in my feminine style video for winter how I'll never let go of a good pair of black pants and I'm going to link the one down below because it's so hard to find good black pants that are stretchy, are form-fitting, but they aren't yoga pants. As I also mentioned in one of my first style videos ever, when you balance more of a feminine style top with pants, that can give you overall more of a feminine allure. For me, what I've been going for are tunic style tops which are more fitted in the bust area and give kind of like that hourglass figure to the waist, but are also loose enough at the bottom that are able to cover all of the parts of concern. Speaking of things that are more loose fitting, let's talk about dresses because I definitely would opt for a dress over pants any day of the week if I have that in my wardrobe and it is something that can fit in my day. I'm also still a breastfeeding pumping mom, so I need something that can be easily pulled up. And I discovered through this other YouTuber, Amanda Faith and Home, I'll link her channel down below, some excellent suggestions she had for versatile clothing that helps you feel confident in in your breastfeeding journey while also being practical. And this includes things such as wrap dresses as well as smock dresses. This also goes along with what I was talking about before, pairing tunics with pants. Smock dresses kind of give you that similar allure and they tend to be tighter around the shoulder area rather than the rest of your body. I have also found several of these that have ruffles and different tiered layers. It is also so easy to bend over in dresses like this. Your weight can also fluctuate. When I lose weight, it's still going to to fit and if I get pregnant again, which is something that I'm hoping for, I'm also going to be able to wear these dresses
dresses for a long time. I love to pair these dresses with leggings and this also makes so that the dress doesn't look totally out of place when I change into sneakers to go on my daily walk. Again, all these things I plan on showing in the upcoming weeks on you go follow me there. Next up, I want to emphasize footwear because I am on the hunt for more feminine looking sneakers as well as tennis shoes that will go well paired with mostly dresses. I am a huge fan of ballet flats. However, ballet flats apparently is very much of a millennial thing. I will still wear them, but I want to add some versatility to my footwear wardrobe and I don't want it to just be entirely ballet flats. Two more sections. I am heavily focusing on undergarments. I talked about in one of my previous video how having undergarments that matched was so important to my confidence after my C-section. Having undergarments that were tasteful, that were high waist, but didn't look like granny panties that held everything in, matched my bras and matched my nursing bras was something that truly changed my life. It seems like an over-exaggeration to say that it changed my life. However, it honestly did because the first thing that you put on every single day are your undergarments undergarments and having good looking undergarments that actually are conducive to your lifestyle is key in terms of more of that superficial femininity which helps you ultimately feel more confident in your femininity. As I progress more so to having my previous shape back, I do want to incorporate some more feminine details in my undergarments while still seeking support. I also have an event that I'm going to in the next couple of weeks and I bought a dress that is a little bit tighter fitting and also off the shoulder. I have exponentially grown in my bust area which which also makes it a little bit difficult to find clothing and to find bras that support me appropriately and look flattering without showing too much. And so that's another area that I've never had to navigate a couple years ago before. I've talked about in the past how I found shapewear as well as slips from honestly places like Walmart, but I do feel as though it's time to up my game and to invest in some pieces that are going to last a long time. And this is very difficult because I find that the more you go for support as well as trying to tame your chest area, it's difficult to find undergarments that are still sexy. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. So far I've been pretty successful, but like I mentioned, I want to up my game in this department. So I will be letting you know if I find an amazing brand. And lastly, sleepwear. I talked a little bit about this near the end of my pregnancy because I invested heavily in sleepwear that made me feel good. There is one brand of nightgown, which I will also link down below, that I wore throughout the entirety of my pregnancy, as well as as of late, because it's also a versatile nightgown that you can nurse in. But this is an area that I want to expand for the future. I want to have nightwear that has perhaps some lacy details, some more feminine colors. I used to be a person that would only wear pants to sleep. However, now I found with the hormones as well as getting in and out of bed to tend to baby. And we do have family cuddles in the morning, which is super nice, but the bed gets kind of warm. I am pretty much a mostly 75% of the time nightgown person. And for that reason, I have to completely overhaul my sleepwear. As you have seen in my previous vlog, I also do spend at least an hour to two hours every morning in my PJs before I get ready for the day. So it is so important for me to have feminine colors and PJs that I feel confident in. All right, friends, I'm just going to leave it at that for today's video. It felt nice to check in and to also hold myself accountable by telling you what I am doing, what I have been doing to change my feminine style. I'd love to know your thoughts and your tips because honestly, I use a lot of the advice that you provide to me. And I love to share that with you on Instagram as well as in my vlogs. I will see you next time, lovely feminine friends. Bye-bye.